So, Owen, congratulations. Thank you, you are the winner of the 2020 Citizenship Award for the Partia Ward area. So that's well done. And I know you've had a long history of working in the community. You do a lot with young people. You've done a lot in the schools. You've supported those that are perhaps not quite so privileged in the community and been involved in a lot of organisations over the years. What would be your favourite thing that you have done supporting the community over the years? Well, I think my most favourite thing and my pet thing is the mainly music, which we've been going probably I've just on about 15 years. And I've had a lot of contact with children and that sort of thing, and it's amazing even going down to help on the odd days at White Poetry now, the kids that are coming in there know me that well because they've all been through mainly music. And we don't feel that mainly music is just for the children, it's for the parents as well and gives them a chance to get together and have a natter and if they have any problems they can discuss it with one another and I think it's a big relief for some of the mothers to get out of their home and see what's happening and to meet people. And we had new people last week that arrived, which is the wife of the new principal at the Waverley School. She came oh, yeah. and she thoroughly enjoyed it. So that's good. Now living in White Tokyo. So that's fantastic. The only thing is that at the end of the program, they never want to go home because they're having such a good time with the kids playing with the toys and not having to worry about them and they're meeting people. And that's good for the community. And I couldn't think of a better problem to have than people not wanting to go home because they're enjoying themselves so much. So, so good on you for making sure that that is, is keeping going. No, I, think the, I think the best pleasure out of it is seeing the joys on the children's faces and mum coming in and saying, well, look, we went past here last week and my child was going crook because we never stopped for mainly music because it wasn't on. And, <laughs> and of course this year, of course, we've had hardly any mainly music because of the virus that's been going around. Yep, and, it certainly has changed yeah. our year for us. And that is something that was also in your nomination was mentioning that you did communicate with quite a few people and kept connected in the community um, while people were isolated. So yes, that's yes. very good. Yes. Yeah. yeah, well, the thing is when you're retired like I am, the weather's not very nice and you couldn't go anywhere, you always got the phone to ring somebody up. And yeah. Unfortunately, we couldn't get out of the house, so I couldn't go and have cheap coffee with them or anything. <laughs> And so other things that you've been involved in with the schools, you do some reading at the schools? Down at White Tokra I do maths on a Tuesday with the beginners class. No, with the middle class on the Wednesday, Tuesday I do reading and I do maths with the junior class on a Wednesday for the first hour and then the next hour I do reading with the new ones because there's about 14 new ones there and it's all started down there this term. And it makes it very hard on the teachers who's got to try and look after them and all the others. So just being able to take a bit of pressure off her hands it gives the other children a better chance to have a bit better education. Oh, look, that's fantastic. And so, I mean, that's what makes communities is the good work that people like you do, Owen, yeah. um, helping those young people, helping those young mums, helping those yes. families, just so many different things. So. Congratulations again, you. Owen, on your award, the 2020 Citizenship Award, and all the best for what you're going to continue to do in the community.